ratio. Hello students. Today, let's learn about ratio. What do we mean by a ratio? In our daily life, many a times, we compare two quantities of the same type. In certain situations, comparison by division makes better sense than comparison by finding out the difference. Thus, a ratio is comparison of two quantities of the same kind by division. Let us understand with an example. Here are five kites and seven balloons. We write the ratio of five kites to seven balloons as shown. It is read as 5 is to 7. 5 is called as the first term and 7 as the second term. The first term in the ratio 5 is to 7 is 5 because kites are mentioned first. Now look, the ratio of balloons to kites is 7 is to 5. As here, balloons are mentioned first. Remember, 5 is to 7 and 7 is to 5 are not the same ratio. As 5 is to 7 is 5 upon 7 and 7 is to 5 is 7 upon 5. Now, let's solve an example. Write the ratio of 13 puppies to Four dogs in three ways. The ratio for 13 puppies to four dogs can be written as 1. 13 is to 4. 2. 13. Then colon. Then 4. And lastly, 13 upon 4. Now, let's solve a story problem. There are 10 cows for every 18 hens in the farm. Find out the answers to the given ratios. Let's write the statements first. Number of cows is equal to 10. Number of hens is equal to 18. Firstly, we find the total number of animals, which we get as 28. The required ratios are 1. The ratio of hens to cows is 18 is to 10, which is equal to 9 is to 5. 2. The ratio of cows to hens is 10 is to 18, which is equal to 5 is to 9. 3. The ratio of cows to the total number of animals is 10 is to 28, which is equal to 5 is to 14. 4. The ratio of hens to the total number of animals is 18 is to 28, which is equal to 9 is to 14. Here, as the terms had common factors, we reduced them to their lowest value to find the ratio between them. Now, let us see how to express a ratio whose second term is 100 as a percentage. Write 35 is to 100 as a percent. Firstly, write 35 is to 100 as a fraction, that is, 35 upon 100. We already know any number with denominator 100 is written as it is in percent. Thus, 
it is expressed in percentage as 35%. Next write 15 raw mangoes to 100 ripe mangoes as a percent. Here we are given a ratio of raw mangoes to ripe mangoes as 15 is to 100 which is equal to 15 upon 100. We write it in percentage as 15%. Now try solving some examples on your own.